there are also symptoms that, that can accompany implantation. So I want to go through them of just course. so our viewers at home can be familiar with them. So light or faint cramping, this is normal. Yes. So you basically get all the symptoms as if you were going to get your period. period. Okay. Because this is when the lining is getting ready for your um, for your embryo to implant, but usually it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. so you start your period. So you're getting the same like PMS symptoms. You're getting cramping, you're getting mood swings, you're getting headaches, vomiting, nausea, and breast tenderness. Okay. All of these are the same symptoms of PMS, right? Um, so is it common for, for patients to maybe think, oh, I'm just getting my period, exactly. but in reality, they're exactly. pregnant. It's common. And that's why some people think they get their period, and it's a surprise for them when they're pregnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So is it usually, as you mentioned, a heavy flow or a very light flow? Usually very light. Very light mm -hmm. flow. And now spotting. How is that different from the bleeding that you get from the implantation, let's say? So spotting is more uh, bright red. Bright red. Yeah. And this is kind of brownish, kind of old blood, mm -hmm. um, more like when you're at the end of the period mm -hmm. that you get more brownish, old blood. Right. Like that. Okay. And spotting is a little redder. You have brought up subcreonic bleeding. Mm -hmm. right, let's talk about that and mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. So when the placenta is forming, uh, we call it the chorion, right? Mm -hmm. So the chorion is the part that's feeding the embryo. And sometimes when that's developing, it starts separating a little bit um, from the wall, mm -hmm. and that causes a little bit of bleeding. Okay. Uh, we can see it on ultrasound. We see a little bit of separation, a little bit of a blood clot. Um, sometimes it bleeds a little more than we want it to but it doesn't really cause anything. It heals on its own, it goes on to develop the placenta. Uh, in some studies, it has been associated with development of preeclampsia and things like that in the future, but mostly it just heals on its own. So how do you treat it, though, if there is a subchorionic bleeding? We you don't. don't. No, we you just can't. watch it.